first ride in Polk ever. I did a long, 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 long-winded unboxing, unpacking, explanation, dressing, and uh, now it's time to ride. <gasps> Look at that! A new helmet, new glasses, new jersey, new knicks, new socks. Far out, wet road, same conditions. Oh, this is my first four or five hundred meters with this helmet. Ventilation, lovely. Uh, temperature 26 degrees already and surprisingly warm. Uh, it absolutely bucketed down again last night, so I got wet roads, but a bloody unreal mood because I've just spent a bloody long time explaining my thoughts as I first sight my new POC outfit. And now I'm gonna go and ride in it. First impressions, helmet, bloody comfortable. Sunnies, perfectly suited. Jersey, very, very, very good cut. Slightly long, shorter sleeves than I would like. And the same for the Knicks. Brilliant, but slightly shorter than I would like. Thank you very much. So, early days, early days, first POC kilometer. And uh, so far, so good. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Suits me. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Happy. I like it. A few little waves. Uh, helmet, very, very nice. It's starting to push on the front of my head a little bit, just up on my forehead. It's a little bit tight, just there. And so I loosen the ratchet, and I'm just going to see how that settles. First ride, blues. Uh, super comfy, super ventilated, like, like that. It's like a party on my head, because the wind just goes cool. Hill coming up, the camera away, goodbye. So turnaround point, wow, one of many maybe, if all goes well. But I do have up in things to do today. Nicks, yeah good. I'm gonna uh, sort of uh, have a fiddle with this front of the helmet. Sunnies, oh my God. Like, can you see them again? Like, try and show them without sort of giving you too many bags under the eyes. They're pretty unreal. Actually, they're really, really good. Oh. And uh, the whole package feels really great. Again, slightly longer sleeve, slightly long, longer nicks, slightly longer socks. Please, next time, perhaps. If that's possible, I would be in happy land. I am in happy land and on the jersey front, it's sort of similar to uh, my orange Giordana kit, which is to say, it's not stretchy. There's a little bit of, like I told you, that side panelling's got a little bit of movement, but the rest of it's just a bloody good cut. So, get your sizing right. It's pretty much in keeping with other sizing that I've tried, like this, this small is reasonably good. I would maybe ask for a little, little, little bit tighter. Police going the other way. Wonder if they're gonna say hello. No, nah, you couldn't care less. Uh, I'm here, again, on the road. Clip. So, up and over the speedies, speed bumps. And uh, trying to gather my thoughts. A little bit of sunshine, which I'm not used to. That's really unfamiliar. And yeah, I'll show you the jersey from all angles, ready? Pocket accessibility, yeah, thumbs up. So easy to get stuff out, like phone, camera, and yet it feels secure while you're riding. It's just another view of the ocean. And some containers. And a sign, slow down or down slow, depending on how you want to read that. Like I still read top to bottom, so that says down slow to me, and that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I think I understand why they did it that way. Uh, bloody muddy bay and a bit of swell. Uh, bloody muddy bay on account of it being bloody rainy city in 2022. And that's not got anything to do with pot kit. So anyway, it's a little bit of a story on my ride, bit of a rant, bit of a like, oh, free the mind after being bobbled up all week. This is my first ride in four days, three days off. Oh, hectic. I didn't know how to adjust. I'm just gonna pull in here and take a peek at the, the internals in the front of this helmet and just see if it might be remediable.
In other words, if I can just push it back like a mill, and um, there's my beautiful bike once again. Unclipped because I was at a gutter and I was holding the camera. You don't need to know that, but I told you anyway. So, see just here, just here, hang on, just there and there. I think I'm going to get there and there marks. They're showing already. Um, uh, I'm just going to see how that settled. I do remember having this feeling um, with the cask Allegro, I think it was, on the first ride, thinking, oh no, that's going to hurt my head. And then I did a quite a long day that first night, trying with that helmet, and um, my original concerns were void by the end of the ride. In other words, the helmets do tend to settle a little bit, and uh, that could possibly be the case today. We'll see. Let's see. How's that clip? One-handable? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The rest of it's bloody good. This strapping has a little casing there. Can you see that? See? And that's really nice. That's actually a really lovely feel. The cask one's sort of a bit leathery or faux leathery and um, I don't mind it actually, it suits me. I quite like that, that feels good. I didn't adjust the strap at all, I just put it on so I might have a fiddle with that later. Hmm. I just wonder if, well, I am trying to push it forward so that it matches my sunnies, maybe, we'll see. Let's see, there, bump, okay. So I'm just trying to, well, that's a big gap now, isn't it? Look at that. What's going on? Yeah, that just feels a bit stupid now. I'm going to place that with uh, two hands and then I'll figure it out. M microsecond later. Um, I just put it on, you know, instead of just dropping it onto my head, I put it on. Yeah. In the back of it. I don't know if you can see that. And, um... I think I've talked enough about this kit already. Feels really good. These are really rad. They're not fogging up and it's bloody humid as hell. Of course it's uh, 27 degrees, which is weird. Might just sign off. I don't want to talk too much. I talked, I talked for, for an hour and eight minutes unbagging all this stuff. All right. I'm just checking out my reflection. Oof. Oh, new helmet. So just for the record, when I'm riding, when you go like that, and the air comes gushing in. That's like putting on the air conditioner. Yeah. All right, uh, do not climb rocks, okay? Warning, because it looks like you might trip over a giant dog turd. I've done that joke before, but it is funny. It makes me giggle. <laughs> Warning, huge dog shits. <laughs> They're rocks. They're pictures of rocks. It just happens to look like dog shit. As you've come to expect, if I come out to this little uh, container terminal, I've turned around and I can't help but pull the camera out again. That little refitting of the helmet just at the end, I think that's all I needed to do. Holy dooly, it's different because coming out this way, I didn't have a headwind and now I do. So those giant vents, well, I don't need to point at them, you can see them, they're certainly cooling me down. I mean, I wore the Giro all through summer and winter. No problems in winter. In summer, in the heat of summer, I was like, oh dude, you're a bit hot at times. If you call a helmet dude, but, which I just did, but um, you know what I mean. But now, original sensation, fantastic. Oh, the rain's coming on in, as per bloody usual in this town. That was really smart to stop there at the end and just sort of refit the helmet because now I think I've got it right. Oh no. I don't want to go through that. That is March in Sydney in 2022. Anyway, I went through that muck. Oh, it's I'm going to get wet. I should have bloody known. Yeah, of course it bloody rains in Sydney. It's all it does at the moment is rain, 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 bloody rain.